Hi guys, so tonight we're going to be talking about Fairtech boxing gloves and um, we're going to be talking about these ones here. It's not actually the one that I said that we're going to talk about. I did say we're going to talk about a BGV one. These are actually, um, you can see it, the BVG 12. Very, very similar boxing glove to the BGV one. Um, these ones are a little bit more expensive. Simply because um, when you turn the light off, the logo glows. Don't know why you would want that, but that's why they are more expensive gloves. So, these gloves are a traditional Muay Thai glove. Um, and when I say they're a traditional Muay Thai glove, it's because they have a short cuff. So, when you come to elbow and when you come to clinch, it's a little bit more easy to do with a Muay Thai glove rather than a boxing glove that has a longer cuff because you get a little bit more flexibility in a Muay Thai glove. Now, the Fairtech gloves were one of the first branded gloves that I actually bought. Um, and they were very, very good. They lasted me for a number of years. They use a three layer foam system in the knuckle and the quality on these gloves are very, very good. Um, you could compare them to twins, BGV um, L3s. I would say the Fairtech gloves are better. And the reason why it seems like Fairtech pays more attention to quality. Um, the quality tests their gloves a lot better than twins. I've had twins gloves before. I've not actually used twins. Um, for a long duration. I've used them for a few weeks and I didn't really like them. And I've seen twins before. I've had 16 ounce gloves that look like 10, 10 ounce gloves and I've had 10 ounce gloves that look like 16 ounce gloves. One thing to say about the glove ounce, even with a quality brand like Fairtech, it won't be spot on. Sometimes I get customers coming back to me and saying, oh, John, you know, I've weighed the glove and it, they're not 16 ounce. They're 15 ounce or 17 ounce. They're not spot on. You only get that when you come to competition gloves. Um, anyway, coming back to the Fairtech gloves. If you look, let me just switch the camera around if I can. Um, if you look at the craftsmanship, you can see that there's no loose threads. Um, the quality of stitching is excellent. Um, if we just open up the glove here, um, even though these are the BGV12s, on the BGV1 you will get the grip bar here. And grip bar just helps to make you like a better fist when you're boxing. And then you've got the ventilation here as well. Um, some gloves have started to do a mesh now. So if it's got a mesh there, then it will help dry out the gloves a lot better. If it's this type of glove, then you're going to have ventilation here. And when you have this type of glove, I would advise you when you finish your training, don't just put them in your bag. You can put them in your bag, obviously, to get them back to your home, but you need to take them out and you need to dry them properly because if you don't, you've got to start to get glove smell. Um, so, like I say, these are the BGV12s, very, very similar to the BGV1. Um, the only difference that I can tell is that um, you would have on the BGV ones, you've got the logo across the wrist on these ones and um, the logo is just here. So that's all I've really got to say about Fairtech gloves. They're a very, very good glove. I used them for a number of years before changing to actually change the Top King after Fairtech. But my Fairtech gloves that I had, they lasted a long, long time. Um, and I was using them for bag and pad work and I was also using them for free sparring as well. I had a 16 ounce and um, in the end I compacted the foam so much that when I went to box on the pads and on the bags it was actually hurting my knuckles and also the velcro went but I'm talking maybe four or five years. So that's all I've really got to say about Fairtech gloves and if you've got any